Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, for some reason, I always find it necessary to say the weirdest things when there's a microphone in front of me. I mean, I don't know why. It's crazy. But uh, I got a little story for you guys today because I know that my story time videos people love and I love pleasing people in any way physically mentally um, and the other things okay so uh, what I did today was I went into my address book on my cell phone and I sent out a mass text to like basically everyone in there which is like a lot of people and I was like do you remember any crazy stories that we had together um, that I can share with uh, my subs and they were like yeah and I got like a hundred fucking messages back and so I r jogged my memory I found some pretty funny stories um, this one was the summer of what was it junior year maybe sophomore year um, th I <coughs> I hung out at this girl's house basically all summer um, and it was we just had a lot of fun every day and this one day well me and this kid would always be there his name was Malcolm he was a fucking troublemaker and to tell you the truth I was a troublemaker too we basically just were the most rambunctious kids ever and uh, we did uh, as much as we could to keep it rambunctious and uh, so this one day he he was like a really smart kid he didn't do well in school or anything uh, he was smart. He was really good with, like, autos, like, cars and stuff. And uh, he... This one day he brought over two mopeds. And these mopeds were... I don't know if they're mopeds. Mopeds are the ones that you pedal, right? Then if that's right, then I was using a... Uh, or there were... He, or he fucking brought over two, like, little scooter things. I guess you could call it a scooter. Uh, it's like one of those things with the wheels that are, like, eight inches long. Or eight inches, like... Basically, because the tires are four inches off the ground. I mean, the moped like frame is like four inches off the ground. And so, if you hit any pothole, you're just gonna fuck up the moped and crash probably. And so, uh, we I guess we didn't know that. So we just made it past this gate, and there was o there was obvious reasons why there was a gate there because they didn't want people in. And so we were just basically off roading on this like random. It was like a driveway that people don't drive on anymore, so it was just wet grass, mud, and, like, 
potholes, so we're just bouncing up and down, like, fucking doing little jumps and shit, like, oh my god, the bottom of our uh, mopeds were just crashing against the ground, like, popping every fucking valve on it or whatever, and the gas tanks are exploding, and not quite that extreme, but it was pretty extreme, and so we kept we kept on going, and we made it to, like, this pond. It was a pretty damn big pond, like, the pond was huge, and then there was, like, a 15-foot drop that went into the pond, and we're just going around. I mean, the dogs aren't chasing us anymore. We made it away from the dogs. I, I, I didn't mention that. It's probably important. And uh, we were just, like, going around this pond, and there was, like, this four-foot little ledge thing that we had to go over to uh, uh, keep going. And, like, it was, like, there wasn't any houses around. There was, like, some abandoned cars in the woods, like... I find that on the island that I lived on, there was like, oh, 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 God, oh, God, that was the worst burp in the world. It was like moist and like puke coming up, but moving on, okay, enough of puke, but yeah, so we're around this pond, there's like, I found, yeah, oh, shit, I found that on this island, there was like a bunch of abandoned cars like in the woods, like wherever you go, there was like a car with no wheels and no windows and people like graffiti on it and shit. And uh, so basically we made it past the, well, there was like this four foot, God, my stories are just awful. I'm such an epic storyteller. But th we made it up this little four foot hill thing. And we're just like skidding, like, with like fucking mud flying out of the back of the moped. And uh, just trying to make it up. And uh, we're pushing our legs along and we g eventually get up into this wood area. And we're just going like half a mile an hour just through mud in water, just like, and we're just like, these mopeds are not going to make it, and uh, I guess he knew, I guess my buddy Malcolm knew that if we made it through this place, there was like a trail to his house, and there was just, yeah, we just came up on this, like, house that looks like it was from, what, like, one of the, like, from Texas, or like, down south, like, one of those houses that's just old shitty house and someone on the porch with the rocking chair going, yes! Like knitting. Yes, oh man, well get off my goddamn lawn, you damn children. And your fucking motorbikes. And, uh, yeah, so we made it past there. It was really creepy. There was like a horse and like the person just stared at us and didn't say anything, like looking wide-eyed and we're just like riding by on mopeds looking at her and we're just like, damn. But long story short, we made it to his house safely, and that was another story. So if you like it, I love you.